Hi, it's me again and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk. Today's topic was suggested by a parishioner and is doubly appropriate because tomorrow is the Feast of the Assumption of Mary. So we're talking about the Blessed Mother. I'm here in my Marian blue at my geographical parish to talk to you about some fun facts about Mary. Um, and speaking of Marian blue, that's actually going to be my first fun fact. Why is Mary always dressed in blue? Scripture makes absolutely no sartorial comments about the Blessed Virgin Mary at all. So where did we get this idea? Um, the earliest artwork that has the Blessed Virgin Mary wearing blue is actually in the Byzantine style from the 6th century at St. Catherine Monastery on Mount Sinai. You know, blue is very expensive to create, so it would be only used to honor people. So if Mary's the Queen of Heaven, it makes sense that we'd honor her. Um, in iconography as well, blue is the color of the heavens. Um, that symbolizes things that are transcendent, heavenly, mysterious. Um, so that kind of fits with the Blessed Virgin Mary, which is pretty cool. We also tend to think of Mary as pretty simple and uneducated. But if you look at the Magnificat, you actually see that she has a pretty good sense of herself, of her faith, of her place in the world, of injustices, and of God's might and majesty. And also uses a lot of imagery from scriptures from the Old Testament or from the Hebrew scriptures. Um, it's pretty cool to see how much she knew about what was going on in the world and how well she was able to articulate it. Okay. One common Mary image is as she's going to Bethlehem with Joseph and she's riding on a donkey. But where do we get this idea? Because it's not in any of the scriptures. Luke simply said, they went. So one of the ideas is simply common sense. It was pretty far. Mary was definitely very pregnant. So it would have been a tough ride or tough walk if they didn't have anything to ride on. The other idea is what's called the Infancy Gospel of James. So he wrote this other gospel that didn't make it into the scriptures. It's called non-canonical. Um, but there's a line in it where he says, uh, Joseph went and saddled the ass and put her upon it, and they went to Bethlehem to be registered. So the last fun fact about Mary is also about the end of earthly life. We believe that where she is gone, we hope to follow. Since Mary had no original sin, she was united completely, body and soul, after the end of her earthly life. We actually don't know that she died or not because it just said, our tradition says she was assumed body and soul into heaven. So that's actually what we hope is one day going to happen to us when we are united fully, body and soul, together in the presence of God. Um, so this is fitting for the assumption that we'll celebrate tomorrow. Hopefully you've gained a little bit more insight onto the Blessed Mother, um, some of our beliefs and some of our traditions and where we get our information and what they mean. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this coffee talk. We'll see you later.